if you look at like most martial arts would show you like if you threw a punch and it'll be like one, two, and three. I don't teach that. There's too many variables, too many things that could happen. You know, if I do the same scenario and take you in an elevator and a staircase in a car, it's going to require a different type of strategy. So it's mostly concepts and strategies that you're going to learn. Um, the second thing I'm going to be talking about, and the most important thing is, when we look at self-defense, people always start and ask me, Nick, you know, the guy grabbed me by the hair, or the guy punched me, and they want to know, what do I do from the moment the person attacks me? The fight starts the moment I'm walking, and I turn around and I see this and I see him walking towards me. The fight starts the instant you make visual or intuitive contact. The instant I walk in the bus or the metro or I'm standing somewhere and I just see Joe walking close to me and he's kind of like, kind of, this is when it starts. The moment I see him or feel him is the moment you have to start acting and moving. This is so important and this is comes down to awareness. There was a video recently I was national TV in Taiwan, they put my YouTube videos, and they're saying that people who are being attacked are often wearing earphones. Why? An awareness. So you're walking with your earphones, you have your cellular in your hands, I'm doing this, he's following me, he just grabbed me from behind, I don't even see it. Before I know, he's choked me, and once the choke is on, good luck, come on. And I'm pretty much out, especially a guy the size of Gio. So a lot of it is awareness. The fight starts way before the first strike or punch. So what are some of the important things that you can do? Is number one, be in the present moment. That's, because you could also be walking down the street and be in your head and thinking about your work and everything and you completely forget about your surroundings and what's going on. You're walking down the street, put your cell phone down, take your earphones off, your body language, and I'm gonna share with you a couple of stories because I've worked with women who've been raped, I've worked with women who've been attacked, I've been with women who are like fallen in pursuit. And I remember one one uh, situation that happened, I was finishing the night at the club, it was three in the morning, um, it was four, for about four in the morning, thank you, I'm looking to close the door for me please, it was four in the morning, I'm leaving the club, I'm walking, it's completely dark, I'm walking down the street and I see this girl, and she's walking, and as she's walking, she was totally scared of me. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, if I was, if I was an attacker right there, she's, I could just through her body language, she's 50% beating herself, she's walking like a victim, she's telling me she's afraid, and as soon as she saw me, she went like this, to the point that I crossed the street and I let her pass. I was gonna stop her and say, you know what, the way you're standing, if you're already telling people, like, I'm scared. You're already telling an attacker, if I have the choice, am I going to attack a woman who's walking like this or somebody who's doing this? So your body language, the way you carry yourself, the way you stand, your energy says so much. And it's so important. And hopefully with some of the, some of the drills and exercises and scenarios, you're going to be able to change your mindset and you know, be more aware and carry yourself differently. I'll tell you guys a great story. One time I was walking, I did a certification and we went to eat and I was with two girls we went to get a bike. As we're walking out, walking up uh, this little street on downtown and I'm walking with them and I see like this like a crackhead, he's talking to himself and he's fucking shaking his head and like he was walking behind and it made me so nervous. It made me so nervous. Two, two girls, no clue they're walking. So as I'm walking I'm like, fuck look at that building. They stop, they're looking at me and they're like looking at the building I'm like that's really nice, you know. Her. And then he, he walked, he walked, he walked, he walked. As soon as he got far, I scanned it, and I walked. And then he looked at me, they're like, they were confused. I'm like, I just didn't like the fact that he was walking behind us. You let him pass. I let him pass. All I did was like, oh, shit, oh yeah. So if Gio's here, and he's falling, I'm like, fuck, I forgot something. That's it. Like, and, me, and I do it. Personally, I do it. If somebody's walking behind me, that makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to cross the street. I'm going to find a way to make sure you're, you're not walking behind me. And you'll know the person's energy if he's doing this and he's walking quicker, faster, getting close to you.